So we're looking at the camera right in front of you. Hey there, it's Shannon, and I have, uh, well, a couple little buddies here with me today. Um, this is my son, Evan, and he has been wondering if he could be in a YouTube video. And I've been discussing it with him, and I keep saying, uh, when I get around to it, when I get around to it, and today he kind of put me on the spot, and I said, you know what, let's go ahead and do this. I uh, have been doing YouTube videos since I think January and I do it because I think it's fun and there's a lot of information to be acquired and learned just by watching, <laughs> what a pain in the butt, watching content uh, that people put out and it's just a fun creative medium for me and I know um, Evan and his brothers enjoy it. He probably, at least I think, he watches Minecraft videos mostly which seems fairly harmless. Um, and he seems to enjoy it quite a bit. And we enjoy YouTube for different reasons, but he wanted to be in a video, so this is his debut. This is my son, Evan. And today we are going to show you one of our favorite games that we found. I was shopping, I think we were in the Mall of America, weren't we? Yeah. Do you remember the name of the store that we were in where we found it? It was called Brain Store. Yeah, Mar Marvel's the Brain Store. Yeah. Marvel's the Brain Store. And they have a website that you can um, view their products on and you can also order online. But we're fortunate that we live close enough to the Twin Cities area that we get up there a couple times a year. I wouldn't say every couple months, but we've had a chance to look at the games that they have. We have a local Games by James shop, and that's in our mall, and they have a lot of the same games, but we just happened to stumble in there and found this game that we're going to share with you today. It's called Quadrillion, and it is a brain game. So I'm going to uh, have Evan demonstrate how it's set up and show you how it comes packaged and just to tell you a little bit about the game that we have. It's really a fun one and we really just want to share it with you. So we're going to flip the camera around and, and show you the game Quadrillion. So Evan, uh, he's got the game Quadrillion. Click and play. So if you want to tip it up just a little bit for me so we can see the front of it, there you go. It's got some really fun colors, says that uh, there are millions of challenges for one player um, and that's kind of how we found <laughs> yeah thank you for inspecting puppy and what is the um, can you read upside down buddy this is the trick we're in in the process of learning how to make videos and this is what it's all about right buddy can you see what that uh, metal right there says can you read that it says creative child awards 2014 game of the year award okay and it says it's a family game and what does the age in the bottom on the bottom corner say that little white tag seven up seven, seven and eight. up and how about the top it says keep on playing smart games so we really like this one because it's not really a brain teaser but it makes you use your brain to come up with different combinations of the puzzle so what we're going to do is i'm just going to have evan show you how you set it up and then how you play it so what Evan has is the user's guide manual for how to set the game up. And Evan, if you could read the different levels that it has on the cover there. There's different groups. Um, There's starter, junior, expert, master, and wizard. And then next to it, it's got numbers. And are those the pages that you can find that on? Yes. Okay. So why don't you flip that book open real quick. Kind of hold it in front of you. Just hold it just like that. And I'm going to zoom in here, buddy. So on the left-hand side are the pieces of the board. I guess you would call it. It's not a board game, but they're pieces that are interchangeable. And I think what I'm going to have you do, Evan, is I'm going to have you read the rules. What does it say there? For You can put it next to you if you can't read upside down. Rule number one. Snap the four magnetic grids together. Any of the configurations with grids side by side are allowed are allowed. Grids can be placed in any order with any rotation and with either side up. Rule number two. 
fit the 12 puzzle pieces on the game board you just created. Puzzle pieces cannot be placed on top of the black or white dots, the covered spaces. <coughs> All of the other open spaces on the grid need to be op occupied by puzzle pieces for the challenge to be solved. Puzzle pieces can occupy open spaces on multiple grid. <coughs> Rule number three. A challenge, all challenges have at least one solution. Some challenges have a few. Other challenges has, have almost 100,000. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean that finding a single one is easy. To get you started, this booklet features a, a, a selection of challenges from easy to extremely, extremely difficult pieces in a specific position. These particular challenges have just one possible solution found at the end of this booklet. Well done. In front of you. And what Evan's got there is uh, the first, I think, junior was that the level? Yes. I'm going to try my best to zoom in on this here. Hold it. Hold it real still. I'm going to zoom in. There's going to be some crazy camera angles here because I'm trying to keep it on a tripod. but So he's got one, two, three, four uh, different assortments of layouts. Um, and what that does is just shows you some examples of how to set up your board with the colored game pieces that you have and then the open spaces are to be filled with the pieces left over. So what I'm going to have Evan do is set up number one just to give you an example and as a reminder the white dots and the black dots are not to have any game pieces overlapping. You just have to fill the remaining gray spots. So again it's one thing to say it and I'm just going to have Evan show you right how to do it here. And I'm going to have him take the pieces um, and just go right ahead and demonstrate how it's done. So he's got to look at that key to see how to arrange the base. He's got a wonderful subject right here that I'm afraid, well, I'm just going to let the prince be the prince there. So what he's doing is then he's looking for the pieces that match the layout. And he's getting them um, tucked together. Now, Evan, there's magnets in those, right? When you're putting yes. those together, you're feeling them sort of click. Yep. And then they are drawn, of course, to each other because there's magnets there. And what he's doing is getting it all set up for gameplay. And if you've noticed, we've got some handwriting in that book. It's because we all think it's so much fun that we wanted to keep track of which ones we had accomplished. So we just signed our initials to it. So I'm going to zoom in here again. Maybe not do a whole lot of editing so Evan can see how the process goes here. I'm kind of at an angle, but you know what? I think that's just going to have to work. You can see the point. So now he's again looking at the plan, and it's really helpful that he can even just look for the color of the piece because each piece is unique to its color and its shape. No pieces are the same, and no pieces... Uh, they're not in the same arrangement and they're not the same color. So you can get it set up pretty quickly, as you can see he's doing here. So you've got to be able to follow instructions in the first place to set up your game for play. And you've got to remember the rules, which again are no pieces of the beads or blocks should be over those white or those black dots. And now Evan has, how many pieces do you have there? Three. Do you want to hold them in your hands just right above the game board, right above it? There you go, just like that. He's got that one. Come forward a little bit more. Yep, just lay him there. The yellow one and then the pink one. Yes. So now go ahead and just show us how you would how you would finish this, I guess, puzzle. So now you just have to find which puzzle piece or where you put the puzzle piece. Mm -hmm. It is pretty challenging. So you can put it there and then that would work. Yep, and you can't have pieces hanging off the end, so you can see it's a kind of a process of elimination. Even though I already passed this level, it's already still challenging. It is. So there. That is an example of how you would uh, play uh, the boards in the starter set. 
And that was number one. And then you can see when he flips it around that he's got all the pieces on the board. And then go ahead and get yourself into number two so they can just see how you go from one to the next. <clears throat> Come forward a little bit. Slide that forward here. There we go. Yep. Try to keep it right in the same spot. Good job. Here I am standing on the other side of the camera telling him how to set it up, but it'd be a great YouTuber someday, right, buddy? Yeah, I'm going to ask Santa for a YouTube thingamajig. A YouTube thingamajig? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, so he's setting it up. Here I am, his camera woman. There we go. When I do videos, I usually keep them pretty short, and I try to edit out all the stuff, but I think we're just going to go with it because it's part of the process not worry about if everything's completely perfectly horizontal as long as it's in frame and you can see it and I'm not wiggling around too much I think that that'll serve its purpose so he's moved on to number two and you see he's flipped the the pieces are over on the white side which makes for a different arrangement of uh, black spots than there are on the other side I think it's a pretty pretty ingenious idea for a game. It's It's got to be pretty cheap, I would think, to manufacture. Um, all the pieces are plastic. While he's going ahead and working there, I'm just going to take a look. 2013 game is when the uh, game came out. The original product name was SG540 Quadrillion. Smart Toys and Games Incorporated appears to be the company and it's a company in San Francisco, California. Again, we picked this puzzle up at Marbles the Brain Store, but there is a website on the box that's www.smartgamesusa.com. I would imagine that there are other games by this company on there, and maybe we should check that out, huh? Yes. That would be kind of fun. I do have a catapult from that store, too. Oh, that would be a great thing to demonstrate. Maybe we could do that in another video, huh? Yes. I'm just going to go ahead, and you can see how he quickly buzzed into that other puzzle. I'm going to go ahead and set the back of the board on here, or excuse me, the back of the box that the product came in, and just see if there's anything else on here we missed that we should review for you. But we're going to go ahead, and I'm just going to set this kind of on top here which is the tricky part. See, buddy, when you're doing this by yourself, you can edit that out. <laughs> oh, now the lighting's kind of gone. Hmm, see, that's the trick. We're in a dark room with no lights on. Can you slide it towards me just a little bit? There you go. So most of it's in the frame. It says it's IQ building. Uh, develops logic and reason, cognitive thinking, and visual and spatial perception. And again, I have actually had quite a bit of fun myself doing this game. But if you want to take a look and see who's actually the master, it's definitely not me. I'm going to flip through here, and you can see I made it to the junior, and then I stopped. But Evan kept going, and I think he might have even skipped some. No, did you? Did we stop at the junior level? No. I did I did this one. Okay. Oh, I'm sure. wizard. Yeah. He, he, he needed to be challenged. So we will probably conclude this video, you think? The light's kind of getting dark, and... The light's, not, the light's getting dark. Does that make any sense? Not really. <laughs> no, it doesn't. We will conclude our first session. And I can't resist, but i got to pan out here. I um, appreciate your enthusiasm for YouTube. And I do have to share that he was on YouTube last night and was commenting on one of my videos. <laughs> he was in one room commenting, and I was getting the the messages on my phone in the next room and his brother and I, I just, I said, oh, it warmed my heart that you took an interest in what I do and, and, um, just thought it was awfully sweet. So now Evan is sharing a place with me on my channel and hopefully we'll have more family oriented, family themed videos that we can bring you to broaden the horizons of our content and just kind of share things that we think are fun and cool. So for now, uh, thank you for stopping by my channel. Is there anything else you want to say, Evan, to the YouTube world, if anybody sees this? Anything you can think of or? I don't know. 
Well, you can think and ponder on that for the next time we come together for a video. And maybe your catapult would be a great thing to do, yes. huh? Maybe we can catapult dog treats.